السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ بسم اللہ الحمد للہ رب العالمین مائی ڈیئر ریسپیکٹیڈ پیرنٹس اینڈ مائی ڈیئر بردرس اینڈ سسٹرس آئی ووڈ لائک ٹو اسپیک آن دا ٹاپک پازیٹیو تھنکنگ آئی ووڈ لائک ٹو اسپریڈ سم پازیٹیو وائبس ان یور مائنڈ تھرو آف مائی اسپیچ یو نو دا ورلڈ ول بی سم ٹائمس اے ڈیفیکلٹ پلیس ٹو اس اینڈ سم ٹائمس اے بیوٹیفل پلیس Every day everyone is struggling for being successful in life. Everyone has their problems and sorrows. Sorrows and difficulties may make us depressed. We tend to lose our mind and heart in such occasions. Then how can we overcome the depression and achieve our true goals? The answer is through positive thinking and positive attitude. It's our attitude that drives us to the success. It is the thing that makes or breaks a person. Yes. Positive thinking or positive attitude can make a person while negative thinking or negative attitude may break the person. Sometimes when we lose something, we become anxious and hopeful, negative and pessimistic. However, being pessimistic is a waste of time because it can cause us to lose hope in the future and lose confidence in attempting something again. Problems will always be there. There may sometimes something to pull you back and keep you from succeeding. But the difference lies in the way you deal. If we are optimist, if our attitude and thoughts are positive, we will neglect all the hindrances, hurdles, obstacles in our way to achieve our goal and will make use of all factors which lead us to success. A positive thinking will keep you stronger through your struggle and while negativity will make you weaker. It's the only way for us to find out peace, love and success in our life. The Holy Quran teaches us that Allah is with us in every situation. So believers must be optimistic in any situation because Allah is the most powerful and He knows all things, including the problems we face. Allah does not forget the good you do. nor does he forget the good you did to others and the pain you received them from allah is merciful he knows your needs ambitions and aspirations allah says in holy quran walladhina kafaru bi ayatillahi wa liqaihi ulaika yaisu mir rahmati ula Those who disbelieved in the verses of Allah and the meeting with Him on the Day of Judgment, such people have lost hope in my mercy and they will have a painful punishment. So here Allah's losing hope in Allah is the character of disbelievers and not that of believers. In Surah Yusuf, Allah teaches us the words of Prophet Yaqub alayhi salam. وَلَا تَيْأَسُوا مِنْ رَوْحِ اللَّهِ إِنَّهُ لَا يَيْأَسُ مِنْ رَوْحِ اللَّهِ إِلَّا الْقَوْمُ الْكَافِرُونَ And don't lose hope in the mercy of Allah, for no one loses hope in Allah's mercy except those with no faith. In Surah Zumar we see, قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَتُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَعْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ جَمِيعًا إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْعَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ Say, O my servants who have transgressed against themselves, don't despair of the mercy of Allah. Indeed, Allah forgives all sins. Indeed, it is He who is the forgiving, the merciful. Also in Surah Yunus we see, الا ان اولياء الله لا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون الذين امنوا وكانوا يتقون او oh, surely the friends of allah have nothing to fear nor shall they grieve the ones who believe and are god fearing likewise there are numerous quranic verses and ahadith sharif of the prophet promoting positive thinking If things are not going the way you want them to, instead of getting frustrated, you must learn to be patient. You need to see things and situations in a positive light to make your life happier. I would request you all to be positive and spread positivity around. Jazakumullah khaira. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.